<sighs> Hello, everyone. I would like for y'all, well, I would like to welcome y'all back to Reptiles and Resin, where today, I don't know what we're making, but we're going to figure it out. So, I, I, I think we're going to make one or some of the Happy Mail. I got three Happy Mails in today, and let me tell you, I'm very happy. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of y'all. Whether you send me gifts or not, I so appreciate y'all watching. Y'all are a blessing to me and my family. Just the comments y'all give, I love reading them. And I share them with my family. So, just to get in here, let's see what we have. I already kind of know what we have because I had to peek. Sorry, y'all, but yeah, had to pee. Okay, so look. They sent me paddles, and I only had a few, so you can always use paddles. And we have our gift receipts. It is the... Oh, how do you open this thing? Let me get, um... I had my little knife out because I was trimming Frenchie earlier. So these are the um, silicone paddles that I like to use. I had three of them. Um, oh, this is the large ones. Yeah. So we got four of the... Ooh, the paper's sticking. Four of them. And I, I honestly like these so much because they're so easy to clean. And they really, really are. And they work good even when you have the larger cups. These work awesome. So you know we'll be using those. And let, let's read our... Okay, that's the other one. We're not returning anything, trust me. I don't need to return receipt. But um, this one is from Miss Miss Christy. It says, Sheila, a small gift to repay all the joy you spread through your videos. You're my absolute favorite resin artist, and I look forward to watching your videos every day. And and I think she meant I'm, but am. And, and I'm sad when there's not one. Oh, thank you from Christy. Thank you, Miss Christy. I, I appreciate you. I'm so glad you love watching. Throw that away because I don't need the box. I have... A little tin thing that I put all my paddles in so I can see them and I usually just wipe them straight off they come super clean and I just stick them right back in there ready to go so yeah they are over there ready to rock and roll thank you so much miss Christy I appreciate you I really do you know we can always use good paddles and let's see this is another one um and i tell you amazon sure crinkled up my my um where's the other ones at they just wadded them oh uh, look at this one this is the way this one came look at this seriously come on now amazon goodness and this is the um 15 piece reusable stir sticks. Oh, now see, I didn't have any of these. This is what I wanted to try. And let me unfold my message, Amazon, if you're listening. I doubt it. Oh, it's from Miss. I didn't know this was from Miss Christy, too. Sheila, a small gift to repay all the joy you spread through your videos you're my favorite resin artist and i look forward to watching your videos every day and i'm sad when there's not one so it's the same message but all oh, that is so sweet i'm gonna i tell you i'm gonna do something with these either i'm gonna cut them out and make me a little wall hanging with them with everything but i definitely am keeping all my little how you get this open all my little gift receipts and that way i can cherish everyone and their beautiful comments i love the comments they leave with the gifts it is very very nice oh yeah okay now see i had a few of these but some of them have disappeared i think i only have one left 
So definitely like these. But you know what I like to do with these? I noticed Michelle mentioned it too, but I've been did it a while ago. I just, because they're kind of curved, I kind of just take a pair of scissors and cut them straight. They're really good for scraping, like resin into stuff. But this is what I want to try. These stir sticks. Oh, yeah. See, they're acrylic. And there will be no transfer of, you know how with the, with these, your inks, if you put a stick in your resin with ink, most of your ink gets sucked up into the wood. So these will not do that. And that is awesome. How many do you get? Probably 14, no, 13, 3, 6, 12. So you get 12, 6 black and 6 white. That's awesome. The, these are going to be really good. They're bendy, but they're sturdy enough to where you can stir in your your um, glitters, alcohol inks. These are going to be perfect. I may be tossing all my wooden sticks. Yep. I may be doing that. Plus, these will be super easy to clean. Yeah, I probably will be, okay, I, okay, let me, yeah, put everything together. I probably won't save the receipts, but I always save the little gift message. Always. So, yeah, that's the 15-piece reusable stir sticks, and this is the black and white. So, yeah, these will come in handy. Like I said, I done lost them. I think there's one or two left I saw. But yeah, these are nicer than the ones I had though. I like this little set. Thank you, Miss Miss Christy. I appreciate that. Now we have one more. I'm not sure who this one's from because I didn't look at the gift receipt, but it says it is a and this was not these were on my wish list and so were the paddles. Because you know us resiners can always use extra stuff like this. Paddles, gloves. All that good stuff. But these were not on my wish list. And I have no clue to what they are. But there is literally, it says 20 pieces in here of little molds. So, oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what those molds are. I have not seen this or... I, I don't... I'm going to look at them, but I don't think I've seen it. Oh, and it's from Miss Christy again. Okay, see, I didn't even, I, she sent me to, Lord, God bless you, Miss Christy. You have just been shopping, haven't you? And it's the same message, but I will read it again. Sheila, a small gift to repay all the joy you spread through your videos. You're my absolute favorite resin artist, and I look forward to watching your videos every day. And I'm sad when they're not, there's not one. Thank you from Miss Christy. I won't say her last name, but I'm pretty sure you can see it. <laughs> All right, let me put, even though there's three of the same gifts on here, the gift tags, I am going to save them all because she took the time to send three. So, yes, I will be keeping all three. I definitely will. I have them in my little notebook here. And I'm telling you, one day we're going to make a plan with those. So, okay, well, let me put it to y'all like this. I'm dying to see what's in this because I have no clue. So, where am I? You know what? I'm going to put these in here with my Q-tips for now. But I got a feeling I'm going to be getting rid of my, um, I know where these go. Those go right there because those are really handy when you're trying to get those you have raised molds and you're trying to get a layer in you just squish everything in those are perfect for that but wow okay um i'm dying to see what these are miss christy you already know but i sure don't she's trying to put me to work for real <laughs> she's trying to work me Oh, wow, and it comes with cups and wooden sticks. Okay. Okay, it's a whole little set here. Oh, wow, okay, I can't, I can't wait. To, let me go on and get this all out the bag. Well, he don't want to come. Oh, he's a teddy bear. Oh, I got a big, faceted teddy bear. 
I'm going to throw that away because I put all mine in Ziploc bags. But he can be a baby bear to the big faceted bear. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're super shiny. They look like they're going to be a nice shiny mold. Okay, so he's a faceted bear. I love the little teddy bears. Oh, we got a unicorn. Oh, so we can have a... Because I've got one set of these, like a small and a big one. This is the big unicorn. So we can have a mom, a dad, and the baby unicorn. What in the world is... Now, I'm dying to know what this is because... I literally have no clue. Okay, I def I don't know what color to pour this, but I definitely... Oh, wait a minute. It's got ears. Is it a doggy? Oh, or is it a bear? No, bears don't have pointy ears. I think it's a, a puppy dog um, face or head. Cool. Oh my gosh, it's a cute little reindeer. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I have not... And this is a set? Yeah, it's a set. I have not seen this on Amazon. Where have I been? Oh, this is so cute. I love the little reindeer. It was... Oh, it's a cartoon kitty. Boy, that kitty got a big old head. <laughs> He's got a big old head. Oh, wow. Okay, I love the kitty. What in the world? Okay, it's kind of... Let me hold it up there. Oh, it's a little piggy. I said... Oh, he... Okay, he's... He's either... I can't really tell. He's either got a diaper or an apron on. It must be an apron because I see a little... Look like what... A little bow. So it must be an apron. Oh, it's a little piggy. We can make him pink. We can make him a pink piggy. And look, it's Bun Bun. We're going to have to make this one Bun Bun with red eyes. Because that's exactly how Bun Bun be looking and sitting up with his ears straight up. So we're going to have to make this one white with red eyes like Mr. Bun Bun outside. That's just free roaming in my backyard. Let me tell you, he does not get out. He just free roams. I love that rabbit. And what? Oh, this is a bulldog head. Zeus, you're in here. We're going to have to make Zeus's head, too. Zeus is an American bulldog. But we can make him in the... Well, yeah, kind of... Uh, it's either a French bulldog or a bulldog. But, yeah, Zeus is like... um He's an American pit bull mixed with... um. Oh, gosh, what what is... He's a mix, but he looks just like an American bulldog. Uh, it, it's the Stanford Terrier Pit, I believe it is. I don't know. I didn't see his mom and dad, but my husband did when he went and brought him. So, yeah. But, yeah. He, we can make this one into Zeus. We got to make him some little, little brown ears because Zeus has little brown ears. Zeus has a black around his eyes like he's wearing mascara or something or no not mascara um eyeliner around both his eyes is black <laughs> he's wearing eyeliner oh i love these oh wow wow i wonder how much resin this stuff takes probably two ounces a piece Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see here because I really want to see how these look. I have not seen these. Okay, Mr. Bunny, we would want white. I'm trying to think here. Mr. Kitty has some stuff on her. So, we might be able to paint her with some markers. She looks cute like she's laughing. So, maybe we'll do Kitty and Bunny in white. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Mr. Bulldog got to be done in white. But the wolf, or I think that's a wolf. We're going to see because I need to see what these look like. These are too cute. Okay, so 
I got a feeling these don't hold two ounces. Probably an ounce and a half. This one probably holds two. Her head, but I tell you, already stuff popping in there. Okay, so that one probably holds two. Um, hmm, I tell you what, I think we're going to do these today. Or at least we can start on these. Yeah, I at least want to do these. I know I want this one with just some little brown ears and some white. But I can actually paint the ears on him, yeah. So I'll probably pour these two in white, well these three in white, and this one in brown for the wolf. Or he could be a black wolf. Black wolves are beautiful. I've seen them up close and personal. They are beautiful. They really, really are. Okay, wow. Um, I'm guessing two ounces a piece. So with my guess of two ounces, maybe add another ounce. So maybe make up five ounces of resin. Mm, maybe six. And if we have any left over, we could pick the little small piggly or reindeer. Yeah, maybe six. I got a feeling he's going to take two. I got a feeling he's going to be one and a half. But see, these could be two apiece because this bulldog head kind of big. Oh, wow. Okay, Miss Christy, you got me um working, but you know what? These will make awesome cute little gifts. Yes, they would. And my grandchildren actually love playing with these little things, like with their dollhouses and stuff, the girls. They surely do. They use them with their dollhouses. They surely do. And my older ones put them on the dressers. They really do. They love stuff like that. So, I guess, like I said, we'll do six ounces of resin, and I'm going to use a piece of glitter stuck in my cup. I'm going to use me a padel. Um, yeah, so we're going to get, okay, I need, I need gloves. That's what I need. I finally used all the clear gloves. We, we're back, we're back to the normal, normal ones, the purple ones. So, we're going to mix up, and I'll go on and show y'all. Um, it's not really much to mix in, but I will turn it off once I put it in the vacuum chamber. But I use the T-Expert Epoxy Resin, this one. It's my favorite, and we're going to go to this line right here. This is a 16-ounce glass cup. I actually only used it once. But I wanted it because these other cups, the other large one down that I have is a 8 ounce. But if I need 8 ounces of resin, it is going to bubble over in the vacuum chamber. So this is why I got this one. Anything 6 ounce. Basically, if it's, if it, in these, I know you can go all the way up to 8. But if you don't want it to bubble over in the vacuum chamber, I only go up to 4 on this one because I need that room. For it to bubble up and breathe. So with this one I can go up to 8 ounces. And not worry about it bubbling up. But we're going to go to 3 right here. And make up 6. And you want to make sure you get like eye level when pouring this. So you can get it right on that line. Because if you're looking at it like down at an angle. It will fool you. Okay. And then stop pouring for a minute to make sure. Because sometimes it has to level out. Oh, that is right on the money. Literally, that was right on the money. Even after it's settling down. Because, see, if I look at it, like, from here, it's showing three and a half ounces. But when I get down and actually look level with it, it is right on the money. Perfectly right on the money. So, yeah, you kind of can't just... Or you can find something to lift it up like this. But I just kind of tilt my head down to eye level. And then I can see exactly where my measurement is. And this is going to be. Stop pouring for a minute and let it settle. Because it is literally right there. 
And this is part B. Okay, we got it. It's a tad bit over the line, but not much. I mean, barely. So, we're right there. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you do want to get it as close to, to equal as you can. You don't want to be that much over. So, basically, we are just going to mix our resin up. And... Hmm... I actually think I'm going to pull out two ounces for Mr. Wolf here to make him, I think I'm going to make him a, a, a black wolf. I really do. I think I'm going to make, I'm going to pull out two ounces. I got a feeling he's going to take two ounces. So, oh, wait a minute. We only made up six ounces. Should I made up more? Uh, two, four, six, but I don't think he's gonna, oh boy, you know what, I think we might have, you know what, let's just, I'm just gonna go on and, and do what we have, if we don't have enough for the wolf, then I will make up two more ounces, I got a feeling that we may not have enough except for three, but if we don't, yeah, we'll know. And we'll also know how many ounces these little boogers um, hold. Because I'm going to get me a sticky note and actually write it down. Each and every one. And these silicone paddles, I like them because they scrape the cup when it goes through. Because they're soft. And see, it literally scrapes that cup and bottom. That's why I like these silicone ones. They are nice. Really nice. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put my um my dripping um tray back over here. It is almost filled up. It is, see all them bubbles I'm making? It's kind of cold today. So yeah, I'm making bubbles in here. When it's cold, your resin will make bubbles. But if you don't have a vacuum chamber, just let your resin get a little warm before you start stirring it. You can either you can even um, put it in some warm water, the bottles, or take two cups and warm it up a little bit, and then measure it out, or go on and measure it out in two separate cups and let it warm up slightly. Now you don't want it hot; you just want it warm, and then when you stir them together, they won't make as many bubbles. But since I'm gonna be putting it in the vacuum chamber. Anyway, because hey, I paid for it. I'm gonna use it and I had to save up money for my vacuum chamber They were not cheap because I started to get one of those other vacuum chambers that everybody was using the little ones But I felt like for the same price I could get one uh, uh, like a For the same price of those little plastic ones that they're selling That I still see plenty of bubbles in I'm sorry. I really do um, I'm not saying they don't work, but for the same price, you can get the the heavy duty machine that gets your bubbles out. Y you know, it, it takes up space, but honestly, it does not take up that much space. I mean, if you got room enough for a big, I would say, 10 quart stock pot to sit on your counter in your sewing room or even on the floor, you can sit it on the floor. Then you got room enough for one of the um those uh, vacuum chambers, but they really are lovely to have. But if you honestly, if you don't have room for the bigger ones, then shop around and try to look on videos of people that use them and see what is your best option, which ones work the very best. That's what I would do. I know Let's Resin came out with a new one that seems honestly to be working, that works really good. Now, I was going to use this, but it's, I'm going to skip on that. That's not kind of oh, white enough for me there. I think I'm going to use, for some reason, I'm going to, no, that's about the same color as the, wait a minute, what is this? I 
this all well, I'm almost out of this one and I don't want to use it right now but I am so almost out of this I think I'm going to use a little bit of it and I'm going to use some of this no this is pearl powder too it's exactly the same I'm not you know what yes I am I'm going to mix them so this is my favorite white it's like a it's like somebody took white white mica and put crushed crystal in it and it's just called white from small tongue I wish I could find a bigger bottle but so far I uh, see I'm almost out and you can only get these in the kits I think the 106 kit 106 kit but this is a awesome white I love this stuff and let's use one of our paddles and since we're doing white I'm gonna use this one the black one Ooh. The ceiling fans on. I'm gonna put some of this in here, and it is a sparkly white. I don't want to use it all. I feel like I need all of it in there, but I'm gonna mix it with this Timu powder. And this one's like pearl powder. This I I got this a while ago. I can't yet. Well, the date on it is one thirteen, but I think I got it back in like. February or March I can't remember and it is shimmery powder so I am gonna put a big old scoop of that in there and see what we come up with and that's gonna be our white do I want anything no I don't want anything but white and I'm gonna kind of just stir it around so I don't have powder flying up Oh, see how it's turning a, a beautiful, just beautiful white. It's not white white, but it's a silvery white. And then, then that, that um, Timu powder is very similar. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, I bet you those black sticks would be good to tell if you're, how opaque your, um, or translucent your, uh, mica powder, uh, is in here. Yeah, I bet you that will work really good to kind of tell how, 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 um, if you can see the stick through it or not. Yeah, and that, the white ones would be good on dark colors. Oh, yeah, you know what, that will that will work really good. I bet you anything it does. Let's let's see how it kind of looks here. Stir it around. Okay, so see, I can see at more it drains, the more I can see. But if I just pick it up, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in here though. You know what I need to do? Get my paddle over here. Not my paddle, my um. Oh, let's see. I got some ends here that need to be filled up right in here. And there's some here. And there's a, everything in the middle is basically full. So I'm going to take my mixer out of here. And I'm going to get a little bit more of this. Let me wipe this off. I'm going to get a, a, another scoop of this powder in here. I want it white, white. Well, you know what I mean. I want it thick not thick I, w I don't want to see through it put it like that I don't want to see through my resin that's what I'm trying to see <laughs> I don't want to see through my resin oh, let me stir a little slow here yeah I don't want to see through my resin and we're just going to doctor these little cuties up with some um, with some um, oh goodness the markers and things so yeah, we're going to decorate them with our markers, and, but we're going to pour them a solid color because they're animals. Now the wolf, I would like to make a, either a brown, I thought black, but maybe brown. We'll see, because if I have enough, I can tint this to a, a light brown color. Oh, this mixer's biting the dust. I got the... See, it's slowing down. I don't wore him out today. He's like, I'm so done, lady. Help me. Put me on the charger. 
Oh, uh, this is the first one I had, but it's charged and it's noisy. Much more noisier. All right, I just want to make sure my mica powder is mixed up since we have so much in here. Yeah. And I'm not putting any crushed crystal because it is shiny. All right, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can off of this paddle. Before I sit it, let me move my paper towel in here to drain. I would like to get it drained in that corner right there. I'm going to try. I'm going to put this through the vacuum chamber. Come on and get off of there. I got a feeling we're going to need every bitty drop. Alright, so I'm going to try to drain it to where it will go in these little cracks here. That, yeah, that need to be filled. Put it like that. Those need to be filled up. Oh, I got some resin on my mat. I'm trying really hard to keep this mat clean. The glitter stays on here forever and a day. It just sits there. Alright, I'm going to throw this in the vacuum chamber. And this probably won't take that long. There's no glitter in here. So, here comes Rattlesnake. <laughs> I might just leave y'all on here depending on how long. And let me, um... Uh, let me see, where's a brown, just in case I want to, um, color my wolf. I will pull that brown, and I will pull a little black to make him a little bit darker. Make sure he gets open. Yeah, just to make him a wee bit darker in case he's too light with that um, white in there. If we have enough. We may not have enough for Mr. Wolf. Alright, absolutely perfect. It did not boil over. Or bubble over. Okay, Mr. Bun Bun. Okay, and then the kitty. Oh, you know what? With that little kitty, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like I want some glitter in Mr. Kitty. I'm going to use some cotton candy in Mr. Glitty with Mr. Glitty. Mrs. Kitty. Miss Kitty. Yeah, I think I am going to put a little glitter in her head and let it sink down in there. Yeah, just in her head, just a little bit. In her ears. Yeah, I think, as a matter of fact, let me get a little cup here to mix some in. Get a little paper cup. And I think I am going to mix just a little bit of that paint, actually. This is the cotton candy. I think I'm going to just mix, and I got, I get these little wood spoons from Timu. They are awesome. They work really, really good. So, yeah, I'm going to just put a little bit of glitter in there and let it sink in her head. That would be perfect. All right, how are we looking over here? We are looking awesome. All right, we are almost finished. It's almost done bubbling. Let me check this. Oh, perfect. It filled up the little holes right there on the corner. Oh, we got one more hole right there little beak bee cone hole maybe if I sit that there it will run in there so there's a little bit on that one and then I'll get him wiped down I will spray it ahead of schedule there alrighty how we looking in here I think we are done And the little surface bubbles that are still on top, I just kind of always spray a little alcohol on top just to get the surface bubbles that have not flown away. All right, let me put the top on this before I make a mess. I will try to see if they still have this on Timu uh, because it is really pretty um, 
powder, like a powder. It really is, and it's very shimmery. It's very similar to this, only this one's a little lighter in shade. But it is very similar. Oh, is that a piece of... Oh, maybe I was wrong. I thought it was a piece of glitter in there. That has happened before. I was really trying to keep this as white as possible. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with Mistel Bunny. Oh, you know what I forgot? My pen and sticky note. So I can write down how many ounces this takes. So yeah, Bunny. That way I can write them down and and put the note on the bag. Alright, so like I said, we have, oh gosh, I'm turning it another way, six ounces or we have about, all well, about 170 mill, 70 milliliters, almost 200 milliliters. We're going to spray Mr. Bunny because he's got some long ears right in there and I definitely... Do not want any holes in Mr. Bunny's ears, or should I say, um, bubbles or holes. All right, yeah, let's get them little bunny ears squished. And I'll be squishing my molds, cause I, and then I release it really slowly. I do everything possible not to get a bubble. I really, really do. I'm going to squish around his little head and eyes here, too. But I truly do. I squeeze the bejesus out of these poor little things, their ears. I don't like bubbles. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we had six ounces. Let's see what we end up with. Mr. Bunny, Mr. Bunny. All right, uh, we got a little bit more to go here. I'm going to let that settle in. Oh, his little tail. Peter Cottontail's tail. Let me squeeze it a little bit before it um gets too far up here. Oops, I'm making messes. All right, um... Oh, that's already taken an ounce. Um, yeah, that took an ounce. But he still needs a tad bit more just to tap him off. So it's literally probably an ounce and a quarter to tap Mr. Bun Bun off here. And there's a bubble. I seen it, but I think it, it was at the surface, so it will go away. All right, so basically that was about an ounce and a quarter. Let me see here. Yeah, it's a little bit under under that. So I would say about an ounce and a quarter. I'm going to just put an ounce and a quarter. I'm trying to pick up the knife to write with. Okay, 1.25 ounce. So I would probably make up an ounce and a half for him. 2.5 ounce. Okay, I got that written down. So yeah, if I was just making it by itself... I would make up an ounce and a half. Saving that for last. Okay, so now we have... I'm going to just call it... Four and three-fourths ounce. Oh, wait a minute. Should we... You know what? I'm going to do this one next. And this is the bully dog head. I want to make sure I get his little ears, too. Because Zeus can't have bubbles in his ears. We got Zeus and Bun Bun today. Zeusy and Bun Bun. You should see them two playing in the backyard. They are too funny. My poor Zeus said he done got too old to chase rabbits. <laughs> ah, goodness. Okay, I must just squeeze around the head a little bit there. We shouldn't get any surface bubbles because it's kind of straight up mold. I just want to make sure his ears have none trapped in there. Okay, 
and that took so far let's see we had I'm gonna say we had five uh, let's see here how far do we go okay let me let that sit down for a minute there okay so yeah he took a good little bit oh wow we have let's see that's one ounce two ounce he took two ounces actually well it's on two and a quarter so he took two ounces okay bulldog head well i put a b instead of a d help me lord two ounce i'm gonna put two ounce so yeah, Mr. Bulldog took two ounces, which it kind of looked like it would. Okay, so Mr. Kitty, we have basically two and three-fourths ounces left, or I'm going to just call it two and a half. And we have our little bit of glitter here that I'm going to mix. And even though this is white, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sink. Oh, that's not enough. I just made a paste. <laughs> oh, goodness, it's going to sink down. I know it is. We might not have enough for Kitty. That's on show. Sure. We may not have enough for Mr. Kitty. Or Mrs. Kitty. See, I made a pink paste, basically. Yeah, hopefully we do. Her head is big. So I'm really hoping there's still some dried um, pink down there. I am going to spray a little alcohol in here to try to alleviate some of those bubbles I just created by stirring this in. Okay, so I have with this... I have two ounces left. We should have enough. The cup is bigger than what I'm used to. So that's probably why I feel like I'm not going to have enough. So we have sprayed our kitty mold. And now we are going to put this in. Because we want this to. I want it to sink. To the bottom. So we're going to get him in here. So he can have a pink head. And some of it might float throughout. But I don't think a lot of it is going to float. Oh, I like these sticks. They clean up so good. They just scrape right off. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I like these. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I like these. Oh, my cup. I hate these paper cups. They break on you, but, you know, if you're just... Stirring in something real quick. They're good to use. But yeah, the bottoms don't come out. <laughs> oh, goodness. I just try to scrape every morsel out. But I think I'm going to put this in here somewhere. It's a little bit in here. I'm going to wipe it off my fingertips. I'm going to go on and... I'm going to spray my stick. And boy, yeah, this thing perfect so much easier to clean oh my goodness okay i want to squeeze his her pretty little ears well she has a big <laughs> i think she's a cartoon kitty from what i can look and see okay so let's get the rest which is i think i said two ounces yeah Let's see how far two ounces get us. I'm hoping it fills it up. Oh, it's not gonna fill her up. Oh, she she may she may take yeah, she takes a lot of resin. She is not filled up. No, she is not. Well, looks like I'm going to be making up more anyway. I don't even think if I scrape this down, it will be enough. 
I'm going to move over to my silicone cup now. I'm not cup, silicone um spatula so I can scrape it really good. Yeah, I don't think even with scraping we're going to get enough out of here. Well, I think our kitty is going to turn pink <laughs> from the dye and the glitter. Ah, she, she, we're like a half an ounce short. Yes, we are. We're like a half an ounce short. We most definitely are. That's about a half an ounce short. Well, if that don't beat all, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Half an ounce short. Well, am I going crazy? Okay, there we go. We are a half ounce short. Boy, I tell you. Okay, where's my... I will spray a little bit of that. Well... Half an ounce short on Miss Kitty. I'm not even going to clean the cup. I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to make up. Um, oh God, I can't get the top off now. Um, I'm going to make up four ounces. Oh. Um, we're almost there. I actually do want it to go over just a tad bit of that line just to make up for the resin that's already in there. Because there is a little bit left in there. So that will make up the offness, I believe. Now I'm going to add two more. Not too fast. Okay. A little bit past that four. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we're just gonna... Oh, why did I do that? I gotta clean those bottles. So I'm gonna just mix... Actually, I'm not even gonna put no more of this in here. I don't have much of that left. Because we only need a quarter now. So I'm going to just use this one. We only need about a half an ounce. Maybe a quarter of an ounce. Something like that. I'm going to just put two big scoops in here. We'll probably turn our wolf into a gray wolf. Maybe. Oh. I'm not stirring slow enough. My powder is going everywhere. Oh boy. It's raining mica powder. Oh, it's stuck to my side where the resin was already at. I gotta dig it down. Dig it down in there. Scrape it off the sides here. It's raining mica powder. Floating mica. Alrighty. Alright, let me just get that all off there. Oh, I don't know why I put that there. That's not cured resin. I mean, mixed resin. So, yeah. Well, looks like we're going to have some more white coming y'all's way over here. Alright, I'm going to mix this up again. I am going to put it through the vacuum chamber. I'm not going to make y'all sit here for four minutes, but I will be back once I get this out the vacuum chamber. And I will see you then. Alrighty, everyone. I have the resin out of the vacuum chamber. I keep getting bubbles coming up from this darn glitter that was not put in the vacuum chamber. Oh, let's hope everything is fine. So we're just going to put this right in here. 
I'm gonna let it settle for a minute. Yeah, see my resin has turned pink from the <laughs> from the um glitter. It's turning pink and it's oozing up a little bit. I think this is gonna be one unique kitty. Yes, he is actually. Let me move this a little bit. And I'm gonna put you right here, little buddy. Oops. And I had a little change of plan while waiting on this. So, oops, is that a little unlevel there? Yeah. Need to straighten him up. I think he needs a popsicle stick. He looks like it's bigger in the back than it is the front there. Maybe it's just me. I think that might be too much. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah, because he's just a little leaning. Just his little foot. Well, we'll see. I haven't even got it poured all the way yet. Let's see. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be all the way into the back. Ooh, and we don't want to run it over, though. Okay, I'm not going to be able to spray you with alcohol. Okay, so I made up four ounces, and I have... Three and a half left. <laughs> okay. But we have Wolfie. And I had the change of plan was. Instead of the mica powders. I pulled out this metallic. Silver gray. And black. So we're going to tint that. And actually. I'm going to just go ahead. And um. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to say this holds two ounces. I'm going to just go ahead and pull out some resin instead of mixing it all gray. I'm going to pull I'm going to pull out some of this because I'm not going to turn all of this gray. Let's see what we have to work with here. I got a feeling it's only going to take two ounces. Or a little bit over two, which that's looking like two and a quarter, but it still isn't all the way down. You know what? We're going to stick with that. So I got a little bit of resin in here. We're going to color this, and I need to get this shaken up because metallics always have that sediment all on the bottom. And we are going to put a drop of black in with this gray. I don't know how many drops we're putting. This is silver. One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, I'm going to just squirt some in. How about that? I'm going to just squirt some. And probably two, maybe four. Let's see how that looks when we stir it up here. Because we're just trying to turn it basically gray. There's no use fighting with the silvery white. We're just going to play off of the silvery white. Oh, yes. That is gorgeous. So, he's going to be a silver wolf. Oh, that is pretty. I think I'm going to put a little bit more black in here, though. Oh, yeah. And I am going to throw some more of this in here. And actually, I'm going to just leave it just like that on top and let it marble itself. I might do a little swirl here. Actually, I'm going to just stir it in. And I'm going to add this to the top. Okay, so basically my video cut off without me knowing it. I apologize. So, all I did was pour Wolfie with the black and silver alcohol inks. As you can see, he took two and a quarter ounces. I cut up a popsicle to prop her little leg up because it kept popping down, which is good. So, yeah. It helps. I did not go back on the video and see where it cut off at, so I don't know what y'all missed. 
but I'm just telling you I pulled out six ounces no four ounces of resin I took two ounces of the uh, yeah about two ounces of the white and I think we're gonna actually see if we can pour mr. piggy and I'm gonna get some pink and I'm hoping this is recording because my phone is doing something stupid for some reason so yeah I apologize if it does not Okay, that's hot pink rose hip. I'm going to use some alcohol ink to color this. I'm going to use the Picasso rose hip. Okay, we're going to use two drops. And now I got to keep an eye on um, the, um, oh, I got silver on this. I got to keep an eye on the phone in case it cuts off again. So I'm going to just kind of slowly stir it. Because I don't want to put bubbles into this. And this is two ounces. So I just kind of want it, you know, you want a pink piggy. Oh, it's warming up and getting thick too. So it's just going to be a light shade of pink. Lord, I don't want to stir any bubbles in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just put some of this on top. And let it go in just like that. I am going to spray Mr. Piggy or Miss Piggy. And we're just going to pour it in. Because it is getting really thick. And I don't think she has any real crevices to get stuck in. So actually that's a good eye, a good good thing. Because like I said, this is getting very thick on me. So she holds two ounces. And oh boy, we're getting very close here. Oh yeah, we'll have enough. It's just thick and taking its sweet time getting down here. Oh yeah, we got enough. We're going to have a little extra. Oh yes, yeah. so we even got Mr. Miss Piggy poured and I'm making a mess missing the whole piggy. Oh boy. Get that pink in there. So yeah. We got Miss Piggy poured. I'm gonna try to get some more of this down in here and tap her off. There we go. And then I'm gonna try to get the rest of this over in here. Some pink over here, y'all. get some pink on our board I'm trying to fill this up so we can unmold this <laughs> so we're gonna scrape this out and try to get it over there because Miss Piggy over here is full so we can't get any more pink in her so we're gonna just try to fill up our little board here I don't know why my phone cut off now it's fine Could be trial and error here. <clears throat> it could have been me. You never know. Blame the camera. Deny. <laughs> Deny it. Oh, goodness. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Oh, Lord. Alright, we're going to get you in there. I'm going to scrape this. I love these little um, sticks. Where have they been all my life? Thank you so much. I really appreciate these, Miss Christie, because these things are working really good. And look at that. I mean, they literally wipe up like brand spanking new. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And they work really well. Alright, I'm going to spray Mr. Wolf because he's got micro bubbles coming up. I think those are good. Miss Piggy got a few micro bubbles coming up. I'm really hoping that alcohol ink kind of marbles her. It may. It may not. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, you know what? We need. I need to clean my paddle. I forgot. Actually, let me get a paper towel here. Oops. I forgot I just put a fresh roll on and they still glued together. 
clean my little petal. Spray a little more alcohol ink on here because I think the paper towel done soaked it all up. And I need to push Mr. Piggy. So we got them all done but three. We'll do the other three tomorrow. I want to see what the little reindeer is going to look like. Well, I wonder if we can just get Brown and his little antlers. Maybe we can. We might start off with the antlers first. I'm going to try to get some Brown in his little antlers. Oh, God. My nose itches and I can't scratch it. Gracious. Okay. So I got that all nice and cleaned up and ready to go again. Now I need to clean this. Oh, no, I don't need to clean this up. I need to get rid of... I've got a little bit of gray in here. Oh, boy. Actually, it's a lot of gray. It's not a super lot, but I don't want any of them gray. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay, um... What are we doing here? What are we doing? We are going to pour this little turtle with silver. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Should be enough for this into resin turtle. I'm hoping. He will be silvery. Oh, it might not be enough. Nope. Oh, well, we can always back him in something else. That's no problem whatsoever later on in life. We can always back this bad boy with something else. Yep. Well, it just dripped resin on me. Okay, so we're getting a little pink mixed in with this from the spatula. And, that, you know, pink and gray is so pretty together. So, yeah. We sure are, though, from the, from the paddle, because I had the pink on it. The pink and gray is very pretty. Too bad we don't have enough. I might be scraping some of this off of here. That's some white. Oh, a rogue glitter got in there. Alrighty. We'll just fill him up a little later. I do need a dotting tool to go around here and check for bubbles because this has gotten thick on me. And see, I can push it up in here so I can either fill it up with UV resin or just wait until the next pour, one or the other. I'm just trying to knock off some of these bubbles into these little indentations. His little diamonds in here. Yeah, see, they're starting to pop up on us. Them little bubbles. Because this resin has gotten thick on me. And like I said, I can just um, wait to fill this up. Alright, so I'm hoping I got all the bubbles popped up there. Alrighty. Hey, where did that pink alcohol ink go? Oh, Lord. I'll go see. I'm going to just put one in here. A drop. And swirl it around. We're going to experiment on the turtle. We're experimenting. I don't know if it's going to drop through or it's probably just going to stay on the bottom. But we're about to find out now, aren't we? It's probably just going to stay at the bottom. Okay, now I need to clean up and we will be back when it's time to unmold. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Alrighty, everyone. We are back. Everything is dry and I am dying to see how these turned out um i cannot wait thank you miss christy for everything you sent me today she hooked me up like i said with molds oh my goodness brand new silicone paddles and these 
stir sticks if you don't have any and you're still using wooden please get these these things are the bomb I like those but I'm not sure what we're gonna need but I have my marker out and I want to start with this wolf I think it's a wolf we about to find out if it's a wolf now I put silver alcohol ink and uh, black and oh I got a few micro bubbles on his little thing but I was stern oh wow that's cool his little mouth has the striations on the inside look at his little pointy teeth all righty now Wolfie I like that that would be pretty on on something like that box or even on a little plaque of animal heads Ooh, a magnet on the refrigerator. You know, I've never made a magnet, you know. I don't even have any magnets. He's not that light. Yeah, I'm going to have to look and see if I can get some magnets. That would be an awesome idea for him. I am going to try to get these little... Like, he has like a square eye in here somewhat. So I'm going to just try... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just some kind of dimension in there for his eye. So, oh yeah, that, that looks good. I did kind of round out that bottom one a little bit. But one thing about it, just if you mess up, wipe it off with alcohol and start. Oh, I kind of like that. It's not perfect, but I kinda, let me just see how this one turns out first before I decide to keep it. Cause I might mess this one up all together or this one might come out better than the other one yeah it kind of did well no that's the shape of his eye because that one looks this one's a little bit bigger but that's the shape of his eye yeah it does have that little curve to it in the mold yeah it really does I'm just trying to let my pen flow oh yeah I like that Yeah, oop, I kind of messed that one up. Dang it. All right, hold on. I think I'm going to just wash it off and start all over. And see how easy that comes off? It will still come off later on. Let me get a little paper towel here. Even if you, um, let it dry, it will come off with some alcohol. All right, so we got that also. The alcohol, see this side to me looks really good. I like that. So we're just gonna try this again real quick. I really like these molds. Oh, see, I messed that one up again. I can tell too. Yeah, I think it's so, <laughs> his eyes might be different on each side. I don't know, but it's kind of, or let me hold it different. You know what? Yeah, let me just hold it a little different. I don't know. His eyes look different on this side to me. Maybe it's just me. I'll just try to get them as close as I can. But it just looks a little different on this side. Okay, now that looks good. That looks real good. Okay, I like that he lays a little flat. Now, can I get him some nostrils in here is the thing. Oh, Lord, my hand's shaking. I'm going to try to just paint the top of this. Oh, yeah, let me not turn it that way. I can't do it left-handed. I am no lefty. My firstborn daughter's a, le oh, a lefty. Just like her um, auntie. She's a lefty, but I am no lefty. We'll have marks all over the place if I try to do this left-handed. But yeah, my firstborn daughter's a left-handed. And guess what? Her firstborn daughter's left-handed. Ain't that something? Yep, that is something. It really, really is. Okay, I think I can go up on this one a little bit too right there. That is something. So that comes from, 
I guess my husband's side because I can't remember any left-handed people on my side of the family. But then again, I could be wrong. Oh, he is so cute. I would really like him as a magnet, but I would need to find a nice size magnet for him. I like that. Let me see if I can... I, I don't want to touch him too much because I want to make sure he dries. Yeah, look at him. He's a fierce little gray wolf. Oh, and he shines like nobody's tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can turn him up like that. Okay. Any, mini miny mo. We're going to pick the big bulldog. Oh, Lord. I hope I can get the big bulldog head out of here. <laughs> mm. Okay. Just slice my finger. Um, 911. 912, 911. Hold on, let me get a band-aid. Yeah, that got me. Let's get some band-aid. I keep them handy, too. Oh, my goodness. I sprayed it with alcohol. I always spray it with alcohol. Let me get a band-aid on. Lord, help us, Jesus. I'm about to slice the finger off. You got me, you little booger. See it right there? The whole slice going across. It's just not bleeding yet, but it will. Alrighty. <sighs> yeah, see it right there? It slice where the thin part of your finger is. He got me. You got me. And I was a little excited to unmold. Yeah. This little piece right here. See how thin that was? Yeah, he got me. Alright, no more cuts. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to sand him down later. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he gots me. He gots me. Ooh, but he is gorgeous. Oh, it's it, it, it's a Frenchie head. That's a Frenchie, it looks like. Oh, he purdy. Oh, no. Well, he, I guess it could be a bulldog or a Frenchie. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta sand this down before I kill my finger. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I gotta sand that down. I'm gonna cut a little bit right now and get that little sharp, sharp, sharp edge off. I'm gonna sand it down later because it tried to take me out. Maybe if I wasn't rushing to see how pretty he looked coming out that mold, I wouldn't have sliced my finger off. But you know, if you do resin, you know it happens. So, so I'm dealing with a cut, and I'm dealing with the blister from painting the house. Man, that blister hurt worse than that cut. Shoot, it still hurts. Oh, I like the way this sits. That is too cute. That is too... Oh, yeah. See, now I can... Because I cut that really sharp edge off. Oh, he's adorable. I like him. I like this little bulldog head. He is too cute. I was trying to just get a round eye in there, but, yeah, that's not going that well. <laughs> that's not going too well for me there that didn't go well I was trying to just get a little pupil but yeah my, my um oops fingers had other ideas apparently oh I should make one of these for my mom she loves Zeus and take it to her in a nursing home she would love that. She loves dogs. Well, she loves cats, too. Yeah, they, you know what? That would be an awesome idea. She would love that. She would absolutely adore this. Yes, she would. And she could sit it right there on her little nightstand. She would absolutely love this. I'm trying to think what else I want to do with him. I kind of want to put some some brown spots on him, but I 
No, I don't like that. I'm going to leave him as is. But if I do do him, I will come back on camera and do him. Because I want him to look like Zeus. Even though Zeus ain't a French bulldog, he's still a bulldog. And they have almost the same face. So yeah, I'm going to just leave his even though... You know what? I might change the eyes, but I can wipe them off later. I'm going to save that for the. I think my mama would like that. Yeah, I really do. I think she would like that. We're going to do Miss Miss Piggy now because she's pink. Oh, yeah, she does have a little bow tie on. Oh, Lord, I got to get her big old head out of here. Hold on. Oh, gosh. How am I going to get that one out? Oh, Christy, I'm going to have to get you to come over and help me unmold. <laughs> we can make resin together. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. And there he goes, and now he went. Mo came out super clean. But you know what? I'm going to try. Oh, I dropped one of my little sticks down here. I do not want to lose any of these. I do. I think I'm gonna try just some water. I know people say soapy water, but I don't like you. I don't want to use soapy water. I'm gonna just try to get me a little spray bottle of water because I think that'll loosen it up. I am gonna get this little fine edge off. It's very soft, but I ain't trying to cut my finger again. Oh, yeah, he's like a chef piggy. His little be he even has a belly button. Boy, I tell you. Oh, that's, you know what? I don't want that in. He has a belly button, you guys. <laughs> oh, goodness, he has a belly button. That is too darn cute. He has no eyes, though. <laughs> Don't ask me. I don't know. He has no eyes. I don't. Is that supposed to be a tooth? You know what? I don't know. That's a good question. Or a tongue? Oh, my paper towel is flying away. That may be a tooth. But you know what? If it is. I can go back over it with a little white over this. Okay, how do I want to do this? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to get me some of the sticker eyes. Yes! Pigs have round eyeballs. Perfect! Yes! Perfect, 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 perfect. Well, those are pink. I think I want to go with these or you know what these would look really good now where do we oh gosh I can't oh here come another problem I can't handle them oh wait a minute I got my where's my little I wonder if this will work hold on because this little wax pin here works really good oh let me not touch his belly button this little wax pen works really good for this. For picking up the eyeballs, see? It really, really does. Okay, so we need another one. These Just these little wax pencils. Okay, well, I guess knock it loose a little bit first because he's stuck. Okay, never mind. I think I need to rethink my pencil. Oh, there we go. Oh boy, you know what I hate the most? Trying to get everything straight. Um, no, you're a little wopsided there, buddy. I think, or is that eye smaller than that? I, you know, I don't know. Now my, my, my eyes are playing. Oh, okay, I didn't bother. Oh no, that looks good. Oh, wow. I finally found something to use my fish eyes on. Look at this. Isn't he the cutest little thing ever? Or she? Is the cutest little thing ever. Oh, my goodness. Look at those cute little eyes now. What I'll do is, I like these. 
I found these on Timu. They're fish lure eyes, but they have a sticky back, and they come in different, like, what is it, four different sizes? Yeah, four different sizes. Perfect for the little animals. How, how do I open this thing back up? I'll just sit it there. Oh, that is too cute. So what I'll do is, where's my light? Oh, you know what? I had something curing over here in my other light. Let me turn it back on. Because I know it's not cure. Let me, I'm going to just put a little dot. Ooh, that may be too big. Um, I do want it to go over that. Okay, it's barely on there. Kind of want it to. There is a hair on my dotting tool. Okay, yeah, that looks a little fish eye, but you know what? It, where's my light? Okay, he's. I think I just got too much on here. I need a Q tip, you guys. I just put too big of a drop on here. Where's my. We'll just get one of these little ones. Yeah, there we go. And I got a little bit more I need to wipe off before I cure this. Just round it out a little bit here. There we go. Oh my god, he is too cute. Okay, I just want to get that to where it's covered it. And my light went missing again. Did it come on? Yeah, okay. I will cure that so that can stay in place and not come off. alcohol inks glowing in there <laughs> oh goodness okay let me try to get the slightest little drop on there just need enough to where I can maneuver it around to like the oh there go that darn hair again Just kind of like where it's barely touching. Oh, the sides. That one went over a little too far there. But that's okay. We will get him with this. Oops, never mind. He went flying across the room there. So I will just wipe a little bit off there. Just a wee bit. Oh, that looks so cute. I'm telling you guys. that, look, And that one's dry, yeah. So cute. Look at him. He got shiny eyes now. I'm pretty sure you could find some without that iridescency around the pupil. But they still are adorable. You got red, yellow. You got different colors in here, but... These are good just for the whites of the eyes. Now look at them. Ain't that the cutest little pig? And he's this did kind of like show some alcohol ink effects on him. He does have a few micro bubbles, but they're inside the resin because that is smooth as a baby's bottom. And you might see them, but there is no holes there. So that's just the effect. But he's so cute. Or she. That, that's, that was adorable. Okay, do we want to do bunny first? Yeah, I'm going to do bunny first. This may be turned into a long video. Look at Peter Cottontail's little tail. Oh my God. Wait a minute, is this, yeah, this is a bunny. I'm going to say, is this a bunny? Okay, let me get over the camera so y'all can see. Ow. Now the cut on my finger starting to hurt. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, it Peter Cottontail. Oh, he looks like he's like a stuffed bunny. And, like, there's the patches in there where he was sewn. Yeah. That is cute. I love the white color. It's 
a little creamy, but not yet creamy, creamy. It's whiter than the pearl white to me. Okay, we're not that bad on this one's overage, so we might not need to cut anything off, and I can wait to sand it. There's a few spots, but I think that'll be fine. Because I'm going to just sand all their little bums. Alright, so for Mr. Bun Bun here, we have red eyes. I wonder if we can get these on there and what size uh, would we use? Because my Mr. Bun Bun got red eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to show Arthur this. He is going to love this. He loved that bunny. That bunny is his favorite in the world out there. That is his buddy, bunny, buddy. Oh, he is going to love this. I can't wait to show him this. I'll push it in on the side. They're like a jelly eye. <laughs> it's a jelly eye. Oh, my word. Oh, I like them red eyes. Okay, I need a pink. I know I got one. I just hope it's got a fine tip to it. Thank you, Lord. Okay, <laughs> let me see if... Oh, here goes a paper. Okay, awesome. So, he, our little buddy got the pink nose. And I'm going to try to take my time and do this. So he gonna have a real pink nose. This is Mr. Bun Bun, or my grandson named him Chase, but he's Mr. Bun Bun, or Thug Bunny's his nickname. And he's Thug Bunny because he runs wild in our backyard. Yeah. That's why I call him Thug Bunny. Because he, he is not scared of anything out there. Oh, that is too darn cute. And I kind of want to paint a little bit of this. Oh, not there on his ears. Dang it. Let me lay him down. I just want to get a little bit. Not the whole inside of his ear, really. Yeah, like that. Like organic. Let me get a Q-tip. Oh, yeah, y'all are in for a long video. I apologize now. <laughs> but this is so much fun doing this. So, yeah, I'll just take a little bit of this off. Oh, I didn't get the pointy Q-tip. And just try to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of make it look organic. Yeah, that looks really cool. It could use a little touch up here. Oh, and I just got some on the side. I think my marker is hitting that side over here. My hand will not stay s straight for nothing. I mean, not straight, but stop shaking for nothing when I do little fine work. Like, if I have to do this, I need to put on my glove. It does help. There's a glove I have that really does help. I just never wear it. Well, it's not that I don't want to wear it. I just forget. Oh, okay. Shoo. Thought I had done rubbed off his little, little ear. I mean, his nose. Okay, yeah. This needs a little bit. I know I'm nitpicking. I'm OCD in this bunny. Yeah, just a wee bit there. Because his whole inside of his ear is not pink. Alright, now hopefully I can get this one right the first time. We'll just try to do an outline of one and then paint it in. I'm, I, I don't even think I'm going to worry about it being just like the other one. No two ears are alike. Alright, let me... That one's a little fatter. So I'll just add a little bit more on the inside of this one and add a makeup for that. And I think that would be good. Oh, he is too cute. Thank you so much. 
My husband is going to love this. I am going to give this to him. He loves his bun bun. I'm telling you. And my daughter Angel had a bunny. His name was Mr. Bun Bun. And we used to take him walking in Forsyth Park on a leash. And the tourists would come actually take pictures with Mr. Bun Bun. And you know what? The I'm going to try to get that photo the next time I come on here for the next video. And I'm going to show y'all Mr. Bun Bun. He was a beautiful gray rabbit. Just loved to walk in the park and meet people. Oh my goodness, that rabbit was a blast. Everybody couldn't believe that we was walking a bunny in the park. All right, you know what? I, I like that. I'm going to let it dry, but you know what I'm going to do when it dries? I'm going to just brush on a little bit of UV resin so that does not come off. And that is too cute. Let me put the top on my pink marker. I think this is the only pink one I have. And I am going to try to... One more thing on Mr. Bun Bun here. I'm going to try to get, like I said, a little little black mouth on here I didn't want to do it in pink can't all be pink <laughs> or can we bun bun yeah so we had a mr. bun bun this is I, 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 I call him mr. bun bun too but he's thug bunny but his real name is chase because my grandson had to chase him to catch him. He was caught out there where they live running wild. Somebody had done let him out. He got his foot caught in the fence. And my grandson got a hold of him. And you know what happened. Grandma! We got a rabbit. Our mama say we can't keep him. Come get our rabbit. <laughs> and you know what I did. Went running for the rabbit. All right, so I am going to try to, oops, I hope there wasn't too much, do the same thing with this one and just try to get some of this. I want it to go around, yeah, see, because it's popping up and I don't want that. So if I just get a little bit of this around it, oh, if I can, it don't want to cooperate. Oh, you know what? We might have to start over. He done popped up. I wanted to get a little bit around there. Flashlight! Oh, that made the eye shine really good. The UV um, resin, that made it shine really pretty. It brightened up that eyeball. But yeah, once this dries, because these are matte markers. They're acrylic. They're kind of matte. They're not shiny. I, you can see it's matte. I noticed that when I brought them. But I'm going to put a little UV resin, clear UV resin over it. All right, let me just get a... I'm going to press that down first and get a little bit on this one and do the same thing. Just want to go around it a little bit just to seal him in place. And I'm going to take my husband his bum bun. Well, no, I'm going to wait because I want to do the ears. And I need to shave the bottom with the sander. Because I know he'll put this either on his table outside or he'll put it by his bed on his nightstand. I know he will. He love his bum bun. That man love his bum bun. He be sitting out there. Just sitting. We have a little carport thing. And he'll sit there. And Mr. Bum Bun will come up under him. And just stretch out. And lay there. And sit with my husband while he's out there. Oh, that one's eyes popping off. But you know what? It's not popping off. It's on there now. Yeah. Alright, so that's our finished bum bun. Like I said, I'm going to put a little clear. But I'm going to wait until that completely dries 
And we still have one more. And I got a feeling this kitty is going to be the meow of them all. Because look at that pretty glitter. And yes, I wanted it to sink. Some of it came up now. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get this one out. But we're going to get this. Look at this giant head. I'm definitely spraying alcohol in here. But I'm telling you, yeah, to see. Oh, I am not cutting another finger, and this one's sharp, too. Yeah, you know, the only thing about the alcohol, it now makes the mold slippery as a, I don't know what. Yes, it does. Oh, we're giving birth to a big cat head. Most definitely. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go, pretty kitty. Oh, and he's a pretty, pretty. Whoo, pretty kitty. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this one is adorable. Micro bubbles are up under the resin so you don't feel them. Oh, he is pretty. But I figured those bubbles, see all them, they look like they might, but they're completely smooth. It's up under the... Oh, my word. He is so pretty. Oh, I'm loving me some kitty. All right, Mr. Kitty. What are we doing? See, we're putting me on some black eyes. Oops, this don't want to go... Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's still got alcohol on it, and that's why it don't want to go on. Ooh, it might be. He's a squinting kitty. Oh my word, he is too cute. Is that a teeth? Oh no, oh no, he's that's a smile. Or his giggle. Oh my word, this I, I honestly I don't know what I don't have a favorite out this. This one's very difficult. That's a hard to choose a favorite out of this patch because, uh, oh, my wolf fell down. These are all freaking spectacular. Yeah, I don't. I think the one that came out the prettiest is this cat, but I like all the molds. It's just I like the way this glitter was in this one. It, it is perfect. 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 There we go. I got it right that time. Perfect. Okay. Trying to get it a little bit darker in there. Alrighty. Oh, this is so darn cute. I love this cat. You know, I haven't seen anybody do this kitty. Man, I wish a piece of glitter would have stuck to his nose. Now, that would have been absolutely adorable. Well, I guess I could have put a piece of glitter on his nose. Now, couldn't I? Oh, my word. This is too cute. And he's got lines. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them all. I don't know if I want to do them all. But he's got lines like through here. That are kind of easy to trace around. You just stick the little fine point of the pen in and go. Did I go? Oh, I thought I, I, thought I went all the way. But nope. Did I go all the way over there? Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying not to touch anything I have. Where does this one start? Right here? Okay, I'm going to... Oh! Well, it doesn't start over there. Let me clean this off real quick. Oh, goodness. I went all the way out of bounds on that one. 
All right, let me start on this. Well, where does it start over here? Okay, I'm losing focus now. I can't see the. Oh, it it it's different. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, it goes around. I see it now. It's kind of oh. Uh, you know what? I'll clean it up with one of those little fine thingies. Oh, there's a piece of glitter in there. Oh, dang it. I keep going out of bounds there. Blinded by the glitter. Yeah, I'm going to have a little cleanup on the head to do. I keep going out the, um, boy, I tell you, and I'm hollering about, it's easy to trace the line. Yeah, it was. Oh, it stops right there. Why did I keep thinking it just keeps going? Okay, I got a little cleanup, so that means there should be one. Don't want to touch the whiskers on this side, ain't it? No? Um. See, I thought there would have been one just like that over here, but there's not. See how that one's right there? I don't feel anything. I'm just blind. I don't feel anything. Okay. And there's a lot back here. Oh, boy. I hope I don't touch anything. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stand him on his... Ooh, there's a bubble right there, though. Or that's that glitter in there, one or the other. Okay, did that one stop? Yeah. He has a lot to color in back here. And I got a few spots that I need fixing. I just love how that pink ran down a little bit. Oh my gosh, I keep messing up. Like I said, I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleanup on these. Oh my word, these are so thinking cute. I love, this is the one that came out the best, I believe. I could be wrong. Everybody will have their favorites. But I just like it because the way the pink fell down. Really like that. And you don't have to do this right here. You could do it in a gold, a silver, another pink. You don't even have to do it. I don't think there's any on his ears, no. I got a little clean up here. Oop. Yeah, let's not let's not touch anything. Yeah, I got a little clean up there. And he still has some stripe. <sighs> okay. I didn't touch it. I don't think. Oh, I got a black mark right there. He's got some on his back too. I don't think it's a lot though. But I could see it a little better. He's, uh, went, oh, I see it better, but I'm still, boy, I tell you, it's like when I get, the, I'm not kind of like the way it curved up like that. I might leave it like that. And that's not just being lazy, but I like how it ended up in a little point at both ends. Yeah, I kind of like that. See how it pointed up on both ends? I kind of like that. So, yeah, Mr. Kitty, I do have to, oh, there's a piece of overage. I do have to shave his bottom. But that's Mr. Kitty. And yeah, he do have a few little bubbles in here. Where this glitter. There's a glitter there. Glitter hole. But remember, I stirred that glitter in. It did not go in a vacuum chamber. The glitter did not. So yeah. I'm making messes. And this was our last piece. And I can't wait to go take that bunny. To my honey bun. My honey bunches of oats. 
Okay, I think I'm going to leave them two little swirl ups just like that. But I kind of like the way they went up. So I'm going to leave them. But on here, where did I? Oh, yeah, I had a mix up right here. There we go. And right there. Yup. Oh, and right there. But it's easy to come off with a little alcohol. Okay, any more mix up -us? A little bit there. Alrighty. Oh, that is so adorable. I like the black outline because it makes it pop and stand out. He is too precious. I love this cat. And that's my pink cotton candy gooder mixed in there. And it shows good even in the mica powder. <laughs> so yeah, I just got to shave his little bottom off and get him all special. So this was all our little, oh here go our bun bun. I can't wait to take, I'm, let me see, I, it, it's been sitting here drying. So I'll go on and I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of this UV. I'm going to just put some all over the inside of the ear there and get it cured. Oh, wait a minute. Let me like smooth that out so it don't look crazy. At least look intentional there. There we go. At least make it look intentional. <laughs> yeah, and that will shine up his ears and that'll seal in the pink. Now, we didn't completely fill the ear. We just put a little thin coating on it. And I'm hoping this thing ready. Remember the turtle we poured with the leftover silver? I had just backed it in some clear UV resin and put some alcohol ink shimmer on the back of it and put it in there so we can um unmold him where's my dotting tool so i'm gonna just swish this around just make sure i cover up that pink there and get it on there and he will be sealed i think i will put some on his little nose just to seal in his nose. I'm not going to worry about the mouth, but I will put a little bit on his nose to seal it in. And he is too cute. He is just too cute. Yeah, I think I am going to put just a little dot. Actually, I got some just sitting here on the tip of it that I'm going to just sit on there just like that. And call it a day. Yep, and we're perfect. No, oh, now his little nose is sealed in and everything. His little ears. I'm not going to seal them out. His eyes are sealed in. We are good to go. I like those eyes on that. For the red bunny. Yeah, and he's smiling. I'll give Peepaw his little bun bun. I surely am. All right. Ain't he cute? He is adorable. I love that bunny. Alright, let me pull out my... Oh my gosh, if I can get over here and reach it. Eh. Hopefully it is cute. Yeah, it's cute. See, I just put the alcohol ink on the back of it. I'm gonna get him out. Oh, uh, well, some of the pink came through. And that was that leftover silver. So he turned out silvery. He's a silvery turtle. But he does have, like I said, well, he's got the clear that I'm definitely over poured and going to have to clean off all around. But there is some paint that came through on one little diamond. And it kind of mirrors the edging. Because, see, I had to put that one layer of clear in. So it kind of looks pink around the edges with the the ink. <laughs> so yeah, I just had to get him cleaned up too. He needs cleaning up because he got a... I over poured him on some edge there. But yeah, he's a silver. This turtle never disappoints. 
So, I hope y'all like what we made together today. I know I did. Now, tomorrow we are going to make our, our bear, our little unicorn, and our reindeer. And I'm going to try... I got, oh yeah, let me show you, hopefully this camera, I, I fixed my UV resin. See them sitting up over there? I took one of these shelves, like this, and I took a quarter inch drill bit and drilled a hole, like here, here. I put them on there and measured them out, and stood them upside down, so they're upside down. Now, after showing the um, video... For the light wish glow in the dark resin. See how I did it? It's upside down. It got a hole in it. See? I drilled a hole in it with a bit, bit but I did tape it up front and side, back and back in the inside of it with some tape. Okay, so my big old finger just hit the camera and turned it off. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I just backed it with, um, painter's tape, front and back, so it wouldn't split it. And just took a quarter inch, um, paddle bit and drilled out my holes in the spaces where I wanted them, and it worked out perfectly. But, what's wrong with my light? Why is it looking like that? It's weird. I don't know what's going on. It, it got weird there real quick. It's that ghost in here. Butte that name of the Lord. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't forgot what I was saying. I don't mention. Oh, the UV resin, the go in the dark. Remember, we had three of them the purple, the white, and the blue that did not want to glow. Well, we're going to try them again, but tomorrow, because I saw some other people use them. Because, see, I hadn't seen anyone use these until I got them in the mail and used them. And with them not glowing, I was like, you know what? Let me just research on YouTube and see what others have done. So, what from what I've seen at least one person do is she actually stirred them up. And hers all glowed. So, I'm going to stir them up before we use them. And see if that makes a difference, because I got a feeling that may make a difference. Now, this video is being going to be shown. This video is being shot before that video even comes out, like a day or two before. No, yeah, the day before that video comes out. So, y'all are probably already yelled at me, hollering, you should have shook it. You should have stirred it. Well, I wasn't thinking, and I had to watch some brilliant YouTubers use it <laughs> for me to get that in my brain see that's why we're one big resin family because i learned something that maybe if i started i haven't even tried it yet so we're going to try it because what i want to do is try to get some of the uv resin in his little horn and maybe it'll glow so that's what i'm hoping so i'm going to use one that did not work yesterday and glow and see if we can get it to glow today and I also was thinking about getting some of it and putting some in the little reindeer ears. If I can fold that down and get in there. Not the ears, but the antlers. So yeah, I just want to want to try it. And I may be trying some on the little bear as well. Because that would be cool if it glowed in the dark. But then again, we can't put it on after the fact, too. It doesn't have to go in the mold. But anyway, that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're going to retry that Light Wish UV resin and see if it's my fault. Because, hey, it could have been. I'm not going to. You know, all the other ones glowed except for those three, though. But the purple gl glowed. But it had a very soft, and I mean very soft, soft glow. But all the other colors glowed except for the white, the blue, and the purple. Those are the only three. All the other ones glowed. And I, I honestly, you saw me. I took them straight out of the box, opened them, and used them. I did not stir, shake, or so forth and so on. So, yeah. You saw what I did, when I did it, and how I did it. <laughs> Y'all are my witnesses. But yeah, I'm, we're going to try stirring it. Right now, I have them upside down. 
So that might actually work because it was like the she she was saying the 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 going to dark stuff is at the bottom and you need to stir it up. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have it upside down, so we'll see. Did I turn that off? Yeah, thank you, Lord. Okay, I will see y'all tomorrow. I am gonna go. I'm gonna let these dry, trim up the bottoms. And the phone just went dead.